Alright everyone, what is going on? It's Voodoo Five Twelve Ninety Two, and uh, obviously we have some things to touch on before I begin um, with this channel update. But first of all, this is the channel update. Um, today is May Sixteenth, Monday, May Sixteenth, um, and this is the update for today through let's see the twenty second. Yeah. Okay. So this is the channel update for. Uh, May the 16th through May the 22nd. Um, first of all, yes, this is a new shirt. I got it yesterday for my birthday. It says, Do You Voodoo on it. And down here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says New Orleans on it uh, with a skull. And uh, it's pretty neat. Um, my parents gave it to me, and obviously it says Voodoo and, uh, and New Orleans. So it's a cool shirt. Um, and yes, I know that you really haven't heard from me very much at all in the past couple of weeks. But... Um, I was going to do my normal channel update last Monday like I always do, but um, actually I was home last Monday because my first final exam was not until Tuesday um, night, so I was here on Monday, but I said, you know, I'm not going to be doing any gameplay footage this weekend, I'm going to be studying the whole time, so I'm not going to bring my camera home, and it completely, you know, uh, didn't dawn on me that, hey, I don't have the camera, I can't do the channel update. So I didn't have the camera on Monday. And then the rest of the week was, you know, studying. There was always people in the room because we didn't have class. We were all just studying. And uh, I couldn't really get it done until this weekend. And I was like, well, there's no point in doing a channel update. And then two days later doing a new one, so we'll wait till today. So here we are. Um, and we have some uh, things to touch on, obviously. Um, about the last couple of weeks and about this week. So the last couple of weeks as far as gameplay footage, um, not a whole lot, because um, I've been very busy finishing up school, but a couple of weeks ago, um, the week after my last channel update, um, Tal and I did complete the co-op campaign of Portal 2. We played it like three days in a row and beat it. Um, it was excellent. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was probably about five and a half to six hours long um, which is pretty substantial, um, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was challenging, but it was really fun working with Tyler to solve these puzzles, and uh, the, the little mini plot behind it is actually pretty cool too, and uh, the plot actually takes place directly after the plot of the single-player campaign. So you want to play the single-player campaign and then the co-op, um, and at the end of the co-op campaign, um, it, uh, it sets up for potentially more portals in the future, so it's pretty neat. And uh, all that footage is up now, so go check that out. Um, and uh, the only other gameplay footage that you saw um, was uh, last night, um, Sunday night. And uh, first and foremost, let me talk about the video I made first on Sunday um, to lead into the footage from last night. Um, I did my birthday present reveal video last night. Um, yesterday it was my party for my my birthday and I got a bunch of cool stuff and I basically did a video revealing to you guys um, what I got related to gaming um, which was a lot of stuff and then there was a big surprise reveal at the end of it um, which may have surprised a lot of you uh, which I understand because I kind of said before that I wasn't going to do this but obviously plans have changed and if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, and haven't checked out that video which I recommend you do um, this is what I'm talking about. Right here, um, this is my brand new Xbox 360, um, 360S, and uh, it's 250 gigs, and uh, yeah, I've got this, and it came bundled with Black Ops for the 360, and I also got a year subscription, a gold subscription to Xbox Live. So, um, so yeah, this was the big reveal, the big surprise reveal, the new console, the Xbox 360, um, which is sounds like there's something rolling around in there, which probably isn't good, but, uh, but anyway, it was working last night, so, okay, anyway, let's hope that that's not something bad, <laughs> but anyway, that was the big reveal, and, uh, and so, I also... Uh, I have these two games. Obviously, the first one is uh, Mortal Kombat for PS3. 
I didn't get this for my birthday, but I used gift cards that I got for my birthday to go pick this up um, at GameStop, which is pretty neat. So now I have Mortal Kombat and the first actual 360 game I own, uh, Black Ops. Yes, now I own it on both consoles, but this came packaged with the 360, which I'm going to be playing on the 360 because Xbox Live is so much better than PSN. But anyway, um, so yeah, these two, and there's a couple other things that I reveal as well, uh, which is pretty neat. So anyway, I did that footage, um, and then um, the gameplay footage you saw last night, I did play some... Uh, Black Ops. I actually bought the Escalation map pack last night for Black Ops on Xbox Live. Played some of that. My friend Dave played some of that, and um, I only recorded four matches actually. Um, <clears throat> just as a kind of a preliminary um, teaser to what's to come. But um, I only t I took four matches, and actually each match we played a different map in Escalation. So I played four matches, but I played every map, um, which was pretty neat. Um, and there's only one that's uploaded right now. I put all of them to upload overnight, but three of them, when I woke up this morning, three of them had failed for some reason. Only part one is up, so I will try to re-upload the other three matches, um, tonight, but that's what I did. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And, um, also, uh, last night we got the very first Madden 11 footage on the channel. I've been talking about forever how... Madden is, is the game I've been playing every year since like the 90s and uh, my friend Gerald was over last night who I've never talked about but actually I've been with him, friends with him since I was about seven years old or so. He lives across the street from my grandparents and I spent all kinds of time with my grandparents as a kid and uh, got to know him. He's actually uh, about three years older than I am. He's 22 now um, but uh, he's actually been the longest friend I've had. I, like I said I've been friends with him for seven years so We've been friends for probably like 12 years or so. And, uh, and anyway, he goes to school um, in Lafayette, which is actually <clears throat> about three hours from New Orleans and about an hour and a half from Baton Rouge where I go to school. So we don't get to see each other very much. But uh, he was in town and came over last night and we always play Madden and we played it. And I uh, filmed our game and uh, um, uh, Sorry, lost my train of thought. And it was a good game, it really was. I play as the Saints, he plays the Jets for some reason. And uh, it actually the game actually went into overtime and it's pretty funny because some pretty crazy, uh, you know, typical Madden BS happens. It's pretty funny. Um, and it was a good game. So go ahead and, and, and check that out. All that stuff did successfully upload. But that was it for the gaming footage for the past couple of weeks. Um, now I want to... What's up to say? Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd only been talking three minutes, but it, it says eight. Um, I misread it, but anyway. So let me talk about some of the news that happened over the past couple of weeks. Obviously the big news being PSN. On Saturday night they began phasing PSN back in and it is now, as of today, Monday, May 16th, pretty much up in, in, in almost every location. Some locations are still having problems because the servers are getting overpopulated and things like that, but it's pretty much up now uh, nationwide. Um, but at limited capabilities. What do I mean by that? Well, the things that are back. Um, the big thing is online gaming is back. You can play online now on the PlayStation 3. Uh, any game that you played online before, you can now play. Um, your friends list. Anything you used to do with your friends list. Adding friends, deleting friends, sending messages, doing all that kind of stuff, you can now do again. Um, you can also get on PlayStation Home. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can if you want. Um, so all that stuff is available. However, what you cannot do, which is a giant bummer for me, which is why I wanted it to go back up, um, is PlayStation Store is still down. It's not working. Um, they did not restore it yet. And basically what that means is you cannot purchase any DLCs um, uh, or anything like that from the PlayStation Store and also you cannot redeem any codes so for somebody like me who picked up Mortal Kombat yesterday um, yes you could play online but for games like Mortal Kombat that you need to redeem your online code for to play online you still can't play online because you can't redeem your code so I have Mortal Kombat online plays enabled the PS3 
but I can't make the two meet because I have to redeem the online code from Mortal Kombat and the store is down so I can't do that. Um, so any games that you have purchased since uh, the PSN has been down that require an online code, you cannot play because you cannot redeem that code yet. Also, um, with games that have exclusive content um, that come with codes, you also cannot do it because it uh, it counts those as like free add-ons or free DLC and when you go to redeem those codes it sends you to the PlayStation Store where you have to redeem the code and you still can't do that. Uh, so that's that's what I wanted to come back up with the PlayStation Store but that is not back yet and they hope it'll be back at the end of May. So. We'll see. That's another two weeks. But anyway, uh, also in news this week, um, the last, well, the rest of the Fallout DLCs, which there are three of them, have now been confirmed with short descriptions of each. The first one is Honest Hearts, which I've been talking about for like a month now, which was supposed to come out back on April the 19th, but has not yet up until this point because. They were waiting on that stability patch, which came out a few weeks ago. Um, that has been confirmed, and basically the description of that is, is you are uh, on a caravan heading north of New Vegas, and you get attacked by a band of raiders, um, and they basically ransack your caravan and leave you stranded out here, uh, pretty far away from New Vegas, so you're like, shit, how am I going to get back? So start trying to get back to New Vegas and you come across what they describe as a war between a new Canaanite and the burned man and basically to give you some background on who those people are new Canaan is handed out in the game um, and I'm not sure exactly what it is but it seems to me like it's a place north of New Vegas that does a lot of trading that has a lot of caravans and things like that um, but it, you know, it, just know that it's a it's a different location than New Vegas. I believe it's north of New Vegas, and uh, and so it would hard to be south of it would hard it would be hard for it to be south of New Vegas considering Vegas is like at the southern tip of Nevada. But uh, but yeah, and uh, obviously New Canaan, like someone from New Canaan, and then the burned man who uh, if you don't remember who he is, his real name is Joshua Graham, and he was Caesar's right-hand man back at the very first battle of Hoover Dam um, when the Legion fought in the NCR for control of the dam. Um, he was basically the, the leader of the military and Caesar's right-hand man. Well, after they lost that first battle at Hoover Dam to the NCR, um, Caesar basically flipped out and uh, had Graham co uh, covered in pitch, set on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. Um, so, yeah, he, most people would think he would be dead, but he lives on in legend as the burned man, and people will talk about him haunting them and things like that, but obviously in this DLC we find out um, exactly what's going on there. The release date for that is actually tomorrow, Tuesday, May 17th. Problem with that is PS Store is not up, so I can't get the DLC. Um, so, yeah. That's the bottom line. I cannot get the Honest Hearts of the DLC until the PS Store goes up. I apologize. It's not my fault. I want to play it, but there's nothing I can do. So, it is coming out tomorrow for Xbox 360. Um, and uh, But for me, who has the game on PlayStation 3, I will not be able to get the DLC. Um, so, that's a bummer. But anyway... Uh, the last two, there's the next one is called All World Blues, which is coming out sometime in June. There's no date yet, but basically what that is is you get to uh, you get to explore um, a pre-war science research facility, and basically you get to uncover some of the secrets and the origins of some of the, the monsters in the Fallout world. Um, not all the monsters are due to mutation. There's a, a good number of them that were actually formed through genetic experimentation. I believe the Death Claws are one of those. Um, such creatures so you get to explore this research facility find out about the genetic experimentation how these creatures became to be became to be how the creatures came to be and according to Shaq News where I got this information um, they said that you as a character actually become part of a 
a science experiment yourself, unknowingly and unwillingly, but you become part of your own science experiment and you've kind of got to survive and fight your way out of that. So that sounds really interesting. That's in June. And then in July, the last one called The Lonesome Road comes out. And that might be the most intriguing of them all because it actually ties into the plot, the main plot of the story. Um, if you'll remember, when you go to Prim and you visit Johnson Nash, who is basically the, the leader of the Mojave Express, which is the, the mail service um, that you as a courier worked for to carry the platinum chip. Uh, he's the Mojave Express leader or leader of that branch in Prim. You talk to him about the package and everything and he tells you that actually you were not intended to carry the platinum chip originally. There was another courier and he explains to you that when this courier saw your name on the list, first he was surprised that you were alive, which is interesting. And then he says, I'm not carrying that package. Let Courier 6, who is your character, carry the package. And then he basically vanishes. Um, and you're like, wow, that's interesting. And you think that that's going to get revealed to you who that guy is and what that whole thing is later in the game. Um, but it actually never does. And by the end of it, you kind of forget about it. But when I finished the game, I thought back and I was like, wait a second. you know, They never explained who that other Courier was and what that whole deal was about. Well, in the DLC Lonesome Road, they are going to explain that. Apparently you get to meet him. Um, they give him a name, but I don't remember what it is right now. You get to meet him, and he basically tells you that he's going to he's gonna reveal to you really the whole story here, the situation, what really happened, but you have to do one more mission for him uh, as a courier, and basically you have to go through this place called the Divide, I believe it's called, um, which apparently no person comes out of alive, and he basically is sending you to your death and he thinks that you won't survive and he won't have to tell you anything but basically you have to fight your way through the divide and carry out this mission for him so that at the end he will actually reveal to you who he is what the whole situation was with let courier six carry the package how he knows who you are and such so that might be the most intriguing one simply because it actually ties into the story of the main game um, and that's lonesome road coming in july so that's all the stuff that happened last over the past couple of weeks. That was a lot of stuff. Now let's talk about what's going up this week. And it's a lot of stuff, all right? First of all, um, I do have from Gamefly the game Brink. Um, it's going to be the very first game I'm playing on Xbox 360 or doing a campaign playthrough of on 360 because it's got an online component. So I picked it up for the Xbox 360. So I'll be doing that. Um, also tomorrow, a giant release. Um, it is possibly possibly the biggest release of the entire year, the most hyped. Um, other people would argue with that. I'm not saying one way or the other, but it's certainly one of the most hyped games in a long time. It's Rockstar's L.A. Noir, and that is coming out tomorrow, Tuesday, May 17th. I do have a reserve on that, uh, which I will be picking up tomorrow. Um, I did get it for the PS3 because it does have that exclusive case, which I believe is called something like the console, it's car, or something like that. Uh, Problem is, I can't redeem the code for the case because PS Store is down. So that's actually irrelevant at this point. But I will be picking it up. They're, they are doing a midnight release of it at GameStop tonight. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm 95% sure I will not be going to that because um, ta uh, myself, Dave, and Gerald stayed up pretty late last night playing games and stuff, and I'm exhausted. Um, and so I'll probably be hitting the sack early tonight and uh, just pick the game up tomorrow. Um, but uh, I will be playing that tomorrow. And um, also I have the Escalation DLC for Black Ops. Nowhere near done with that. I will be playing more of that possibly uh, this week and, and whenever I don't want to play Brink or L.A. Noir. And I also have Mortal Kombat now, which I have a lot to do. I need to beat the story mode, there is also the challenge tower, and there's ladder mode with all the characters, so. A um, lot of stuff to do this week. What am I doing tonight? Tonight, first thing I'm doing is my Voodoo thoughts on the Xbox 360. I talked about this in my birthday present reveal video. Um, I will be doing a Voodoo thoughts. I'll be talking about the Xbox 360, what I intend to do with it, how I'm going to work it with the PS3, what games this year do I think I'm going to play on what console, um, how does this open up 
the gaming world to me. How does this help with the channel and all that other stuff? So don't miss that. Uh, I'm going to be talking in detail about this bad boy and uh, basically what I plan on doing with him um, this year and also what I'm going to do with the PlayStation 3. So um, make sure that you um, check that out. Um, and uh, also tonight I will be doing the Portal 2 game review. Yes, I will finally be doing that. Um, and uh, so be sure to check that out. It's going to be a good one. That's coming your way tonight. Also tonight, I'm also going to be starting my playthrough of Brink. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, throughout the course of the week, I'm going to have Brink and Alain Noir. I can't tell you which game I'm going to be playing more of at what time, but I will be playing both games this week. All right, so. Look for footage of that over the next couple, over the, this week. And uh, Brink will start tonight on the Xbox 360, as well as Voodoo's thoughts on, on the 360 and my Portal 2 official review. So that's what's coming your way. Lots of good stuff coming up. And uh, be sure to tune in. I will try to upload them as fast as I can. I am home now. My internet here is awful as far as uploads to YouTube. I'll try to upload as fast as I can, but bear with me because I'm working with limited resources here. So. Uh, so all right, that's gonna do it. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch um, all of the great footage coming your way this week of Brink, of La Noir, possibly Mortal Kombat, and also possibly some Escalation DLC for Black Ops. So I'm Voodoo Vital ninety two. Nice to be back after a two week uh, break, and uh, lots of good footage coming your way. So be sure to uh, to stay tuned.